everyone today we are going to be doing something so exciting that i've seen so many youtubers doing that i really wanted to do as well for quite a while actually but as you can see in front of me we have my miscellaneous groups binder and today we are going to be moving the photo cards from this binder we're gonna be moving them into some mini binders and I'm so excited. So of course I'm hopping on the A5 mini binder trend. Um, I didn't get the Beyond D binders cause I, they just weren't for me. Like I wasn't really feeling them, but I saw Brad use some of these in his collection. And I think that these are so freaking cute. Like this yellow color is gorgeous. Like as you can tell, like Pom Pom Brin it's my favorite character and then this pink one is so cute uh, yellow and pink are just my favorite colors so of course I had to pick some up and I'm so excited so first of all we're going to go ahead and take out the photo cards and I'll kind of let you know my plan on these so of course we're going to be putting my ults in one binder and my other collections in the other binder so my ults in this binder are of course yukika and wansung i do consider them to be ults i don't know which color i want to put the ults in but we'll go ahead and just take them out for now I am so excited to do this like I've literally been waiting for these binders and for just everything to come and I'm just so excited for this new step in my collection I don't know if these are gonna fit in my binder actually actually I think I'm gonna leave all the bigger items in here I don't have any two pockets I don't know if the two pockets for the a5 binder fit these postcards so I'm just gonna leave them in here for now and have this be like my bigger inclusions binder take all these photo cards out mostly I actually wanted to start these mini binders quite a while ago because my one song collection was growing so much especially with this era blue like blue is just such a massive era that it, I didn't like the way that these pages looked with all of the pops so that's mostly why I started thinking about making these binder switches. And then we move on to my Sumin collection. I do still collect Sumin. I just, um, I mostly join Randy's group orders um, to get the albums. So that's why you never see me posting any unboxings or anything because I get them so late that it's already like too late to do anything with them. So that's why I never post any Stacy unboxings. I am very much enjoying collecting Haram. Of course, I am collecting Billy. So. I'm very excited to fix these into the new binder. <laughs> All right, so I bought um, the Beyond D photo card pages from K Town for you. I only bought five packs, but that comes with 50 pages because it's 10 per pack. So I think. Hopefully I have enough pages. Which one should I put my ults in? I think I'm gonna put Yukika and Wonsung in the yellow one, and then the pink for Tempest, Stacy, and Billy. So I think that's how I'm going to do it. I'm gonna put three packs in my ult binder and then two packs in my other group's binder. So this is what the inside of these binders look like. They're just little A5 
um, binders. I'm so excited to put them away. I think we'll do 20 sheets for now and then we'll add more if I need to add more. All right, so I was able to sleeve all of my Yukika collection and all of my Wonsung collection, and we're gonna go ahead and put them away and figure out kind of the new layout that I want to go for with this binder. And I'm a little bit nervous, but we'll go ahead and start. So first of all, we're going to go ahead and start with her debut album. Didn't have any photo cards, of course, but it did have these cute little ID cards. So it only came with three ID cards, however, so what I was thinking was putting one of these little stickers in here just to fill the space. I don't know if I want to do, I think I will do this one. Hopefully it fits in the smaller white pockets. Perfect. So that is going to go in here just to fill the spot. So that is my cute little soul lady collection. And then we do have the Valentine's Day fan meeting that she had. This only had three cards, so these pockets are kind of hard to open. But we're going to go ahead and just put them in here. And then for the last one, I think I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with the sticker idea. So these are the little bookmarks from the Time About album. I'm just going to go ahead and put these right next to this stuff. This is just kind of like a random assortment of items because Yukika doesn't really have a lot of photo cards. So I think that looks cute for now. So of course... <laughs> Yet again, we have another three pocket. Oh, you know what? Actually, that would look so much better with the my music taste things. So I think I will do the sticker idea. Sorry, I'm like thinking through this as I go. So this was like right before Time About and right after Neon. So we'll put this sticker. I know it looks dumb, just... It's a work in progress, y'all. But then, so we have the My Music Taste pre-order benefit cards from Time About. So we can go ahead and put these in here. And for the clear sleeves that I'm using, I am using the Titan Shield brand sleeves not sponsored very much wish they would sponsor me though titan shield if you see this but there we go so these are the my music taste pre-order benefits and the bookmarks from the album and then we can finally actually start with the album cards so what i'm going to do is the time blue version on the first page and then the time light version on the second page so how do i want all of these are blonde this is like mostly pink so I think I'm going to do the two pink cards and then the two beret cards kind of like that so oh it looks so cute in a mini binder I'm so excited y'all and then this is the time light version which is the yellow back so this one has a brown card but the other ones are all blonde. These two have the same braid in her hair, so I think I'll put these two next to each other and then these two next to each other. That is the Time Light version. And then finally, these are the little film strips. So we'll do the Time Blue and the Time Light on the bottom.
desperately wanting a Yukika comeback, definitely. Um, where are you at, girly? I miss you so much. But yeah, so that is the small little Yukika collection in the mini binder. And then we're going to go ahead and move into Wonsung. Wonsung has literally so many cards. You wouldn't even think that he's from a K band and not from an idol group. So first of all, we have their first album that had photo cards, which is the Snooze album. These cards are lenticulars, so they're a little bit bigger. So these like barely fit in the sleeves, but I'm still so happy to have them. Like these, this album is out of print now. So to have both of his lenticulars makes me very happy. And then of course we do have this photo card which I actually have two copies of this card, which I'm going to use to fill the rest of the page because I bought two copies of this album. So this is my little snooze page. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the next page, which is the hero slash random page. So hero only had one photo card per member. So I will go ahead and put one song in here. And then it came with like a little group card as well. So we will put that in here as well. So there's the little group card. And then I have some random cards. So I have, this is like the photo book card that they had when they released their Lucy Island photo book. And then this is like gotcha coin from gotcha. So again, these are just kind of random and I don't have anywhere else to put them. So I'm gonna put them all on this page even though it like doesn't really <laughs> doesn't really match up. I think I'm gonna do these opposite of each other. And then we'll just call that a page. It looks a little bit strange, but I think it's okay. So this is going to be a good page because this page has four cards on it. So this is Gotcha. So this is the album card. And then there were three pobs for this era. So there was, this is the My Music Taste, which was the first round. And then there's Dear My Muse, which there was a in-person and an online fan sign. I don't remember which one is which, but that's what both of those are. So we'll go ahead and put these in. This is one of my favorite one song cards. I just think it's so cute. And then the other one, ah, such a cute page. Oh, I'm so happy with this. We get to go ahead and start the absolute monstrosity that was Blue. So Blue had two album cards and then literally like 10 million pops. So these are the two album cards. So we're gonna go ahead and do these at the top. And then these are all the pobs. So there's a whole bunch of pobs in this brown outfit, but I think I'm just gonna do these like in chronological order uh, just to keep it sane for me. So if this looks weird, if any of the cards look weird next to each other, I'm so sorry, but I'm just doing this so that I know what I'm doing. So these are two of the Dear My Muse pobs. They had like a pre-order album event. This wasn't like a fan sign, but that's what these two cards are. And then I don't, I honestly don't remember what most of these are. I think, okay, maybe I do. Cause this is Everline round one. This is like the merch card that they had for the pop-up event. So if you bought like 10,000 won worth of items, then you got like a random card. I joined a whole bunch of group orders for this era. So thank you to the group order managers for getting me these. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? This is a fan sign pop, so I'm gonna keep that with the other ones. And then all three of these are lucky draws. And then this is like the card that you got if you bought like enough money or if you bought enough merch such as the lucky draws. So we're gonna go ahead and put the lucky draws and the merch card on the same page. Does that make sense? I think so. I don't know at this point. And these are like PVC cards, so they're a little bit thicker. 
than the other cards. So that is this page. I think the backs look really cute. Okay, and then these are all fan sign pops minus that card. Yeah, so let's go ahead. Everline, round one. And then I literally don't know. <laughs> I don't know most of these stores. This one is very cute though. I think I think that's JJ Muse. Not too sure. But they look cute. All the different backs of the cards and everything. I don't know why they had so many pops this era, and I'm honestly scared for their next era whenever they come back. Because I really like collecting his pops. It's just so much. Like, the only people I collect pops for at the moment thoroughly is Wonsung and Promise. I guess I collect for Yukika as well, but she hasn't had a comeback in a long time. So, I don't know. This is Makestar. Yeah, this one's Makestar. I really like this card. This card is so cute. I don't remember what this one is, but it's so cute. It's like drawn on. He's so cute in it. And then these are the final pobs of the era, which are... Dear My Muse, I think they had like an ending pre-order benefit thing, which like, why? To end the era, you're making me buy more albums. But yeah, so that is Blue Era. There is also this little merch card, um, which came from the pop-up shop as well, which I think I might just put in here too. So maybe I'll do this. Because this is just a random page, TBH. But yeah, so that is all of the pages. So I get to take these ones out. And then here's my first mini binder. It's already pretty full, which is literally stressing me out. But these collections don't grow very much, so I think I'm fine with this. But here is Yukika's Soul Lady. Her Valentine's Day merch her MMT cards, time blue, time light, the film strips, and then we move into one song, which is snooze, random page, and then gotcha, and then blue, and all the pre-order benefits of blue. I'm so happy that it was an even number though, because if it was uneven, literally my brain would not be able to function. And I'm not going to decorate these just yet, but I think that they look cute just on their own. So that is the Ult mini binder. We'll go ahead and do the other mini binder as well. So we'll go ahead and start this one as well. So in here, this is going to be my Sumin, my Haram, and my Hyungsup mini binder. First of all, I think I'm going to go ahead and start with my oldest mini collection, which is Sumin. I've been collecting Sumin since they debuted, so I'm very excited to put her away in here. So she finally has a new home. So we do have... This is their debut. And then we have ASAP era. I used to collect her pobs, but I don't really have any anymore. I do have a couple, which I might put in here just to fill some spots. So, but then we do have um, stereotype. So I will go ahead and put stereotype in here. I don't know if there is a certain way for these cards to go. I think I'll 
put them like that so it's black and black and then white and white. I think I'll do that. There we go, so cute. And then we do have the like, I don't know what this one is called, but it was like the extra photo card from Stereotype. And for now, I don't have my Young Love albums because again, I joined Randy's group order, but I do have the jewel case photo card because I did buy her jewel case separately. So for now, we're just gonna do it like that. Um, and I'll put away more cards in the future as I get them. But this is my little Stacy collection for now. I'm gonna go ahead and put some white sleeves in here just so that it's not like you can see the other collections behind it. So there we go. The next collection which I have is my Billy collection. So I do have quite a bit of her cards. So they have a lot of cards already. So we can go ahead and put them away. To start off, we do have their debut, which is the Village of Perception. So I do have both of her cards and then both of the IDs. So I do have Billy Love, which I will put right up at the top. And I think I'm gonna do it like that. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it like this. Or do it like that. I don't remember what the song name is. <laughs> So that is the first page, which is the Village of Perception. I do have a pob of hers, which I might use as a filler. And then we do have a whole bunch of the winter merchandise. So I do have two cards coming. I have the Polaroid and then one more of her selfie cards. But TBH, it's been quite a while. It's been like a hot minute since I bought those. Even though they are international, like it's been literally a hot minute. So I'm feeling like they are lost in the mail. So I might have to rebuy those, but I do have three of her selfies for now. I have the 30,000 won benefit card. And then I have two of the units, which are her and Suki, which is literally my top two of Billy. So I'm very excited. So we'll put these away for now, and then if I have to rebuy the cards later, then that'll kind of suck, but it's okay. We'll go ahead and do these ones first. I think I might do the bunny cards opposite of each other, actually. Okay, and then for now, we're just gonna put the 30,000 won benefit card right there until I can get the other card or if it shows up in the mail. But yeah, for now, we'll just put that there. And then we'll put the, um, Bunny, Suki, and Bunny Haram cards here. And then I'll put this, the Village of Perception card on this page as well. This is a pub. I think it's Everline. Yeah. And then we'll put a white sleeve here for now. I hope that those cards end up not being lost in the mail, but who knows? It's been quite a while. And then we have their newest album. I do have all four of her selfie cards. She loved me in this unboxing, so yeah. And then I do have three of her Polaroids. I don't have the fourth one yet. I'm working on it, so if you have it and you want to sell it to me, I would love that. But we do have her selfie cards, first of all, which we will go ahead and store. So I think I'm going to do it like this. I don't know. Hold on. What's that one? Maybe we'll put it like this. So that way the two school uniform cards are like opposite. 
She really literally does the same face in every single card, but she kind of slays it, so. But also, please, like, <laughs> let us see something different. But she's so cute, so it's okay. She looks so cute. And then, oh, okay, the backs are next to each other. It's okay for now. We're gonna leave it for now. Oh, also this, this, um, Bunny Suki and Bunny Haram is literally upside down because for some reason they made it go the other way and it looks so much better this way. So I'm gonna leave it like that. So if that bothers you, I'm so sorry. <laughs> we have three out of four of the Polaroid cards. So I am missing one. But we're just gonna roll with it and hopefully I get it in the near future. And then we'll put a white sleeve here. And that is my Billy collection. And then we can move into my Hyungsop collection from Tempest. So I don't have all of his cards, what a big shocker. I just started collecting him, so I have a lot of trades coming and I bought a lot of cards from random places, so I only have a couple of his cards right now. So this is going to be a very empty section. So first of all, we'll go ahead and do the It's Me version. I only have two of his cards out of the four. So for this page, I'm gonna do this one right here. And then I think this card right here. And then he has a second card that looks like this, but it's facing that way. So I'm gonna put that here so that they're like opposite. And then I'm gonna put his first press card right here. But yeah, so that is the It's Me version. And then I do have three of his It's We version cards. So this card is gonna go right here. This is his first press card, which is gonna go right here. And then this card is gonna go right here. The other card I'm missing is a winky face card in the same outfit. So that's why I put them right next to each other but we'll put a white sleeve there for now. We have three of the unit cards. So I'm missing one of the unit cards, but I think I bought it. So we'll go ahead and put these in here. I have this one. And I know some of them are from the It's We version and some are from the It's Me version, but I don't remember which is which. So for now, these are just gonna go in here like this. And then the one I'm missing is of Hyunsop and Hanbin. So eventually I will have it, but it's not here currently. I wasn't going to collect them, but then I pulled one and I was like, you know what? These are so cute. So of course I had to collect them. Finally, I do have, well, I do not have his Digipack cards. I did trade for them, so they should be coming soon, but I don't have them currently. So... Of course, here comes the dreaded white sleeves. And then I actually have a pob. So this is his make star card. And then I did buy another pob or I joined a group order for it. So I just bought some pobs to fill up the blank pages from the fact that they had like an uneven amount of uh, album photo cards. So that's kind of where my mind was thinking. So yeah, this is my non-ult mini binder, and then the other one is my ult mini binder. I think that these look so cute. I think eventually I might get like some pages to separate the people in the binder, but for now I don't have them, so. But yeah, we have Sumin. And then we have Haram. And then we have Hyungsop. And that's it for now. And I think that that turned out so cute. And I think I really like these. So thank you guys so much for watching if you stuck around this long. Um, that was me making my mini binders. So I think that they turned out really cute and I love the colors of these little A5 binders. So I'm very excited to have these. So. 
I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.